Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts, right here in the Rant and Chair. Smoke me filter doop a doom, sorting the world's trouble out after finally not becoming a hungover pair of shorts. Boy, howdy, folks, let me tell you. Uh, if being drunk were a superpower, I would be God, okay? I really need to tone my shit down, but it's not going to be today, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, here's the deal. It's been a morning, right? You wake up, tongue to sandpaper, got the problems going on, figuring shit out, <clears throat> and having to deal with the relatives, right? They want this, they want that, they want this to go to mom, they want that to go to mom, I'm not allowed to bring this to mom, they want me to bring that to mom, fucking confusing, right? Okay, my primate brain is not capable of abstract thought before I've had enough coffee to get rid of a hangover, okay? Uh, there's not enough coffee to get rid of the hungover that I had this morning, Oof. So, <clears throat> live streaming, fucking around with my friends. Thank you all who showed up for the support. Uh, special thank you to Tomcat for last night, Arasaka from the time before, and FSP for uh, hitting the old cash app, because uh, being sober fucking sucks. And, uh, there's a reason why I got drunk as a lord last night. Uh, mostly because I hate just about everything about life right now. But I needed to be rather docile today, because... I had to do something I didn't want to do. Uh, I went to the nursing home to see my mama. Now, I wanted to go see mama, but I didn't want to deal with the nursing home, right? So to get in this building, my aunt's giving me these complicated fucking directions, so I turned in the wrong fucking parking lot. Rather than start my car again and drive around, I figured, ah, fuck it, I'll just walk around the front. All right, so I'm walking around the front, carrying the pillow with all her stuff stuffed in her pillowcase, because, you know, like, I'm too lazy to get a bag, right? I don't want to do it. <laughs> and I get to the home, right? And I get in there, and of course, people are giving me the mean mugs. So, you want to fuck or you want to fight, asshole? And they're like, what? I said, you staring at me funny? You know, don't, don't, don't come at me sideways. Like, you ain't going to win today. I was in a mood. Uh, it's safe to say I've been in a mood for a while, and it's only gotten worse with age. Finally get down to the end of it, where her room is. Of course, my mongoloid aunt's in there, right? I told him what time I was going up. <clears throat> Which in my mind means you be out of the room when I get there so I can see my mama. Well, mama's out of sorts. She's scared. She's crying. She wants to come home. And I had to hug her and make everything okay and lie. She's not doing well. She's probably not going to live very long in there. So uh, I'm hoping for the best for her. <clears throat> so basically, Mongoloid Aunt keeps talking over us. I said, listen, uh, I don't mean to be rude here. Uh, you're getting on my nerves. I came here to see mom, not you. And uh, you can go stand in the hallway and be quiet while the grown-ups talk. And she just looked at me like, huh? what would you say that for? And, and like I gave her the stare, like, fuck with me and find out, right? I was not in the mood. I have not forgotten what she did or my sister did, but I have to play nice right now for Mama, okay? I didn't throw the beat down, right? So it doesn't mean I won't later. It just means I'm not going to while I'm hungover, right? Well, I mean, like I said, is all I can do to restrain myself, so... I get in there, nurses are messing around and shit, you know. Uh, Hutch texts me, I'll get back to him here in a minute. My thought train's easily derailed today, folks. What can you do? So, basically what happened is, I'm sitting there, making everything okay for Mama, going over things she doesn't know. Okay, she doesn't have fucking sense God gave a creamy fart today. And that's okay, she's very confused and upset, and she was crying and hugging me. And telling me, please don't leave me in this awful place. I want to come home with you. I said, I know, Mommy. And as soon as you're better, you will come home. Well, I lied to her. I don't think she's going to get better. I hope she does, but, you know, you're 75 and a home. What do you expect is going to happen? So, I wheeled her down to the dining room because she was concerned about lunch. Even though it's not lunchtime, she wanted to go in there and watch her TV, right? Because they have a TV in the dining room, okay? Of course, these fucking cunts. Uh, look at the table, there's little individual sauce packets, which is nice, with with loads of high sodium in it, by the way. So, like, if you want french fries, you're going to have to open 50 packets of ketchup, right? Because, you know, you want ketchup, you want a little mayonnaise with it, make some fry sauce. There's enough salt in this shit to gag a maggot. But they don't have a salt shaker or a pepper shaker. They have a Mrs. Dash shaker, and you can tell this vile shit just by looking at it. So, like, but they don't want to have salt in here. they are not allowed to have it. They're all leaving the fuck alone. For shit's sakes. You know, fuck's sake. So I'm already in a vile mood and I'm trying to tell mommy, listen, I have errands to run, which you know, in my case was the liquor store after FSP kicked the cash app. Thank you, by the way. 
I, I do not need to be sober today. I've had a rotten time of it. <laughs> and uh, I'm on my way out the door. I finally got Mama to let go of me because she was hugging and crying. And yes, everybody, for you at home, the viewer, I gave Mama a hug for each and every one of you. Uh, if I squeeze her any harder, the air would have come out. And we don't want that. She needs all the air she can get. Okay. I'm on my way out and the nurses are like talking amongst themselves. I'm like, hey, uh, I need to talk to you for a minute. Like, yeah. I said, you see that right there in the wheelchair? Oh, yes. This is Carla. She's new here. I know that's my mama. I took care of her my adult life. I'm 35. Okay. I have no fear of death. I want to die and be with my loved ones. Okay. I have no fear of death. The death penalty does not scare me. I have zero problem choosing violence. And as long as you treat her like your life depends on it, you and I will get along just fine. If I find one thing out of sorts with my mother, if I find one bruise that didn't come from a transfer or from her having a fall, I will come back here in five minutes. The police might get there in 10. And in that time, you and I will get better acquainted than any other human being will ever be on this earth with the term pain and suffering. And you will learn new levels of fucking human suffering that you would not believe exists in a civilized society. I am a former criminal. I've been questioned in connection with several arsons and bombings before my 18th birthday. I grew up on the street slinging methamphetamine and doing ignorant shit. Okay, I've changed my life. I've reformed. I've tried to get myself together. I've tried to find Jesus. But I am at the point right now that the only thing you can take away from me is my birthday. And I don't mean the actual getting drunk and having fun with my friends on my birthday because mom wasn't home. I mean my actual day that I am alive. I am begging you. Please give me a reason to have my good death so I can go be with my loved ones. And they just looked at me like, we'll make a note of that. So don't, don't fuck with her. Don't, don't hurt her. Don't make her cry. Don't fucking harm one hair on her ignorant little head. She's old. And I expect you to treat her with the proper respect like you have the fear of God put in you. Have I made myself abundantly clear? And I like looking at each other like terrified. So there's nurses going to go home with nightmares tonight. <laughs> and of course, mom was talking about me. Oh, my wonderful son. He saved me from breaking my hip and whatnot. Of course, the nurse is in there fiddle fucking around with everything while I'm trying to visit my mom, banging shit around. Of course, you'd combating a hangover while you're doing this, trying to appear like you're not hungover, right? That, that's that's a superpower in all of its own. And they're like, oh, this is your wonderful son. I'm like, yeah, I'm about how you pictured me, huh? And I'm standing there, you know, like, Full neo-Nazi ink, a fucking, you know, a Hitler mustache and a shaved head. <clears throat> and a pair of shorts with a fucking 9 millimeter, obviously, in my waistband. They're like, no, you're not how we pictured you at all. So, yeah, well, uh, don't judge a book by the cover. Rest assured, I got more back issues in Penthouse, but I mean well. You know, as long as you give me no reason to, to be an ignorant prick, you and I will get along just fine. I will not tolerate any fucking foolishness, any bullshit involving my mother's care. <clears throat> I will give you guys the leniency and the leeway to do your job as long as you give me the leniency and leeway to do my job. So don't take any shit from these people. Uh, they're going to be verbally abusive with you. They're going to treat you like you're stupid. And if they think they can get away with it, they may hurt your old people. Well, you know how I handle nursing homes. The last time I was in a nursing home, I shoved a 9 millimeter in some nurse's face for denying my grandma her pain medicine or hurting her. Uh, what do you think I'll do over my mama? Any takers on that bet? Like you, the viewer at home, you're going to put your money on the nursing staff versus me? I don't care how big that orderly is, right? I, I don't care how big all of them are. I don't care if they all rush me at the same time. They will know my face and my name, and they will have the scars from the altercation for the rest of their life if they live through it. I do not fucking play when it comes to my safety or mama's. And in fact, hers is more important than mine at this point. Like I said... I have literally nothing left to lose but my birthday. And, you know, it went well, aside from the fact that I was trying not to cry while Mama was crying, hugging me, and begging me not to leave and leave her there in that awful place. And it's a clean facility. It does not smell like tapioca and piss like most of those places do. Uh, yeah, uh, you should have seen it, too. As I was telling the nurses this, the old guy was sitting there laughing his ass off that was sitting by my Mama. It's like, what a boy you raised there. It's like, oh, he, he, he'll fucking kill him. Like, and my mom doesn't swear. And she looked right at this old guy. It's like, oh, no, he will murder them. 
And the old dude started laughing and clapping. Like you could tell by my face, I was unamused by the experience. Like I said, I made the best of it. I made it okay for mama. And that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I have to wait for the Daily Hose Beast report to to be told about everything in life and what the fuck I am and I'm not going to do about it. And I'm going to go drink up the courage to deal with that by the time the telephone rings. And uh, yeah, I've got all my adulting done for the day. Thank you all for your love and support. Uh, go team mama. Fuck you, nursing home. And uh, what is the word of the day? Towel. Because uh, I woke up on the wrong side of the towel, right? Somebody go get me the towel. Somebody's going to need to get them a towel should they ever cross my mama. But yes, I wish I could have had pictures of the whole experience and uh, uh, get some t-shirts printed up because they looked like they had shit their pants. And it smelled like it in there too. So yeah. Uh, thank you all for your wonderful love and support. Those of you that donate, donate. You're awesome. Those of you that don't donate, it's okay. Money's tight everywhere. And you know what? I'm not your problem. You don't have to support me. But I appreciate you, whether you do with money, prayers, packages in the mail, fucking happy thoughts, whatever. 